hi guys welcome to my channel my name is joan aoko and today i'm going to show you how to crochet these high-waisted pants i normally upload videos each and every week so consider subscribing and join the family for the material i'm going to use this icians swim yarn this yarn is purposely made for making swimwear it's 100 percent polyamide 50 grams 165 meters i used two balls for this high-waisted pant and a little goes a long way because it's super stretchy and honestly this is one of my favorite yarn for making swimwear this yarn is from turkey you can check the description box below i have a link on how you can purchase it and it's super affordable less than two dollars amazing yeah yeah i'm using two millimeter crochet hook you also need tip measure for the sizing tapestry needle to weave in your ends and of course a pair of scissors to cut off your ends so before we start making this pant, it's important to understand the sizing details of this pant. And these motifs you're seeing should accommodate your hip size, so you're working with your hip size. And one motif is 3 inches, but if I stretch it out, it can accommodate up to 6 inches. So once you know one size of your motif, it's going to help you determine how many motifs you need to make that is going to accommodate your hip size. So if you are size large or extra large and you need to increase the size of this pant, there's two options on how you can go about it. First, you can add more motifs to your work, which is the easiest way on how to go about it. Or alternatively, if you only want to have six motifs like I have in this video, you can go... Uh, you can choose the option of increasing your stitches from the beginning. In this case, I started with 20 stitches, but you can increase yours to 24 or 26 depending on your sizing. But remember to make uh, your tape measure your best friend because everything in this tutorial is measurement based. To begin, make a slip knot. Chain 10, slip stitch into the first chain to complete the circle. So once you have your circle, we're going to work inside that circle. Chain 3, make 19 double crochet into the circle. The chain 3 acts as your first double crochet, so make 19 more, and so you should have a total of 20 stitches inside the circle. To close the circle, make a slip stitch into the first double crochet to begin on the next row chain seven the first five stitch acts as your treble crochet and then the extra two is going to act as chain two space now treble crochet into the next stitch chain two triple crochet into the next stitch chain two triple crochet into the next stitch chain two triple crochet into the next stitch and this is going to be your pattern until you complete the row To complete the row, chain 2 and then slip stitch into the 5th stitch to close the row. At this point, you should be having 20 treble crochet in total. To begin on the next row, slip stitch into the chain 2 space, chain 3, 
the chain three acts as your first double crochet and then double crochet into the same chain space so you should be having a total of two double crochet chain one go into the next chain two space and make two double crochet chain one go into the next chain two space and make two double crochet chain one two double crochet into the next chain two space and this is going to be your pattern until you complete the row To complete the row, chain one and slip stitch into the first double crochet. Now let's begin on the next row. To begin on the next row, I'm going to slip stitch again onto the next double crochet and then slip stitch again so that I can get my hook inside the chain one space and then I'm going to chain three. The chain three acts as your first double crochet and then i'm going to make two more double crochet inside the chain one space so i'm going to make three more in the same chain one space for a total of four double crochet and then i'm going to chain five four five and then i'm going to skip this chain space and then on to the next chain one space I'm going to make four double crochet like that I'm going to chain five and then I'm going to skip the first chain one space and then on to the next chain one space I'm going to make four double crochet chain five again skip this chain one space onto the next chain one space make four double crochet chain five skip this chain one space onto the next chain one space make four double crochet so repeat that until the end of the row you should be having something like this repeat that and then i'll meet you once you get to this point i'm at the end of the row i have my chain five and then i'm going to slip stitch onto the first double crochet which was the chain three stitch and then for the next row I'm going to chain five and then I'm going to single crochet onto this fourth double crochet like on the last double crochet of that four double crochet cluster and then I'm going to chain five and then I'm going to double crochet onto this chain five chain five again double crochet onto the last double crochet onto the fourth double crochet chain five double crochet inside the chain five space double five double crochet again and then double crochet onto the fourth double crochet sorry i mean single crochet onto the fourth double crochet chain five single crochet inside this chain five space chain five single crochet inside the fourth double crochet here chain five single crochet inside this chain five space and that's going to be the process until you complete the row
I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to make my final uh, stitch there and then I'm going to slip stitch inside this first chain 5 space to close the row. So another important thing is you should be having 20 chain 5 spaces. So if you have less or more, I suggest that you should go back and check where you messed up because it should be 20 of them. Remember our motif should be in multiple of four because at the end of it all, we should be having four corners. So to begin on the next, which is the final row, actually it's not going to be, we're not going to work in a complete row. So I'm just going to chain seven for a start, five, six, seven. And then inside this same chain five stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now I'm going to chain five. Remember at the start, it's the only time you're going to chain seven. So the rest you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to make a single crochet, chain five single crochet again, chain five, single crochet again, chain five, and then make a single crochet. So you should have five chain, chain spaces. This is one, two, three, four, five. Since, um, we should be having four corners and it's 20. So meaning one corner should be five. This other side also should be five, five and five. So this is what we are trying to do. This is the complete square motif. And this is the part that I am working on. Like I'm extending the size of my motif. So to begin on the next row, Remember on the first start, we chained seven. So for any start that you are going to work on, chain seven. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then single crochet onto the first space. And then now chain five. Three, four, five. And then single crochet onto the next one. Chain five five single crochet onto the next space chain five single crochet onto the next space chain five single crochet onto the next space yay and now my motif is done the next step is now joining the motifs together so what i suggest is uh chain one and then cut off your yarn because this is the first square motif you're going to cut off your yarn but i suggest that you leave a long 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 tail because you're going to use this yarn over here the tail to attach it onto the last part of it. This is what I'm talking about. Assuming this is your first square motif and then you end up joining square motifs, you need an extra yarn to attach onto this last motif. So uh, the, the point I'm trying to make is, uh, okay, just go and do that. <laughs> Leave a long tail and then you're going to understand it once we get to that point. So I'll just cut off, I'm just going to leave an extra tail and cut it off. So don't tighten it off, just leave it the way it is because you'll need it. Now let's join the motifs. So I have my second motif over here, worked in the same, same manner from the first motif. So to join the two motifs together, this is what we're going to do. So to join these two motifs together, we're going to use single crochet with the chain three spaces. And uh, as you can see, we occupied like five chain spaces over here. 
so we are going to skip five chain spaces and then on to the sixth one this is where we are going to start attaching our motifs together for the next five stitches as well that's why it should be in multiple of four like it should have four corners this 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 and this so i'm going to skip five one two one two three four five and onto this six stitch this is where i should start joining my motifs together so this is one two three four five it should be completed here so i'll just insert my hook over here since the yarn is on this side to start joining the two together and then the trick is you are going to face the right sides together and then the wrong side should be on top like on the outer part and then the right side should be on the inside part so I'm just going to skip five again, one, two, three, four, five, onto the sixth one. This is where I should start joining my motifs together. And then I'm going to insert my hook onto this other side. I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to attach it onto this other side using a single crochet. And then I'm going to chain three. And two, three. And then onto this other side, I'm going to join using a single crochet, chain three, turn to this other side, and onto the chain space, I'm going to single crochet, chain three, turn to this other side, and make a single crochet, chain three, turn to this other side, make a single crochet, chain three. It's more of a zigzag motion. So join the five stitches together, like the five stitches together using a single crochet and chain three spaces in between. Yay, so you should be having, after joining, you should be having something like this. Now this outer part, you can't even tell that it has been joined because it's seamless. And then this is the wrong side, it's equally seamless as well. So you're just going to tight, uh, to cut off your yarn and then tighten it off. So you should be having something like this. So make another uh, motif and then join it onto this make another one join it and then you should be having something like this so at the end of the row okay just continue joining them the size that's going to accommodate your waist and then i'll meet you once you get to that point I've completed my motifs and there are six in total and now it's time to join them together to form a complete circle and this is the last motif that I have just fixed onto this one so that's why I was telling you that your first motif you should be able to leave like a long tail and this long tail is now going to help you close your motif and to close your motif, we are going to do the same, same thing. Put your right sides together and then the wrong side should be on top. And then I'm going to count five to skip five. One, two, three, four, five. And then on to the sixth one that's where i'm going to start joining my motifs together and i'm going to chain three first and then attach it onto this other motif with a single crochet chain three in a zigzag motion join the motifs together
chain one and yay you are done so this is the right side oh my gosh it looks so tiny but this yarn is super stretchy it's going to accommodate my 38 inches hips So now this is the first set of your motif. Go ahead and make another one exactly the same. And then the next step we're going to do is joining these two motifs together and at the same time fixing the star details in the middle. So now uh, align your motifs to face each other like this. And I have already joined one side like this and also on the back I have fixed this uh, star detail over here so I'm going to show you how to do that just make sure your motifs are aligned like this and the next thing you're going to do is to take your yarn and to join these two sides together, as you can see, you have five spaces left. This is one, two, three, four, five. So you're going to skip. Uh, remember, this is already in use, so don't use it. So you're going to skip this one and into the next chain space. You're going to attach your yarn and I'm going to start attaching my yarn from this single crochet part so insert your hook and then now go into the chain space and make a single crochet chain two now and then take this other side of your motif you're going to skip one and then into the second one, you're going to make a single crochet. Chain two. Onto this other side, into the next chain space, make a single crochet. So this is your second space. Chain two. And go inside the next chain space of the other side. Chain two. And the final single crochet onto this other chain space and then chain two and make your single crochet in the final chain space and then chain one and cut off your yarn tighten it off so you've attached these motifs using using the three loops and also on this other side you'll be left with one loops hanging hanging so once you've joined these two motifs together you'll be left with an opening so now it's time to fill in this opening and we're going to make this detail over here and fill it up so yeah let's do that take your yarn and make a slip knot now chain 8, seven, eight sl slip stitch to join and then you're going to make 18 chain, uh, 18 double crochets in total. So start by chaining three, which is your first double crochet, and then make 17 more for now a total of 18. Once you have your 18 double crochets, slip stitch into the first double crochet to join to complete the circle. So now we are going to join this circle in these corners this corner over here this corner over here in this middle point and then on to this other side this corner this corner 
and also in this middle point so i'm going to start at this corner over here and to do that i'm going to chain six chain six five six and then into that corner the loop that's hanging you're going to make a single crochet chain six five six and then you're going to skip two stitches one two into the third one make a single crochet and now to join this middle point over here i'm not going to chain six chain four now one two three four and then locate the middle point and make a single crochet there chain four skip two double crochets one two into the third one make a single crochet and now we are joining on to this other side now it's a chain six one two three four five six and into that hanging uh, chain space you're going to make a single crochet and chain six five six you're going to skip three uh, you're going to skip two sing double crochets one two into the third one make a single crochet and now we are going to fix on this other side which is a chain six one two three four five six into the chain space make a single crochet chain six skip two stitches one two into the third one make a single crochet now we are at this point which is a chain four so chain four one two three four and then on in the middle point of these stitches you're going to make a single crochet sorry and then chain four come on to this other side and skip two stitches one two and then make a single crochet and now we have final stitch over here this corner over here which is a chain six so chain six and into that chain space make a single crochet chain six skip two stitches one two into the third one now you can make a slip stitch because we've completed the row chain one and cut off your yarn now you can tighten it off so you should be having something like this it's creased when you look at it like this it's creased and it doesn't look cute but when you stretch it out it's going to sit so well on your body so now go ahead and repeat the same thing into those spaces and then i'm going to meet you and proceed so once you're done fixing these uh, gaps over here i will suggest that you try this bikini on on your body just to confirm that you have the right size and you can actually get inside it before you weaving you weave in your ends because there's so much to weave in and you don't want to 
go through that and then realize it doesn't fit you well so the next thing we're going to do is to fix the waistband so take your yarn and hook and you're going to attach it in one side and use single crochet to tighten it and then as you can see this part over here is sunken and this part over here it's kind of curved on top so in this sunken part we're going to make double crochet and then on this upper part we're going to make single crochet so chain two and then make this chain two acts as your first double crochet and then in that space i'm going to make a total of four double crochet and then in this space i'm going to make three double crochet In this other space over here, I'm going to make four double crochet. Three, four over here. And now you are in this part over here, I'm going to make single crochets. Three times. In these chain spaces, single crochet three times. In the chain spaces single crochet three times one two three then when you get to this point i'm going to make double crochets and this is going to be your pattern until you complete the row I'm at the end of the row and to complete the row you are going to slip stitch into the first stitch that you made and you should be having something like this so as you can see it's almost flattening out we need to do uh, to make another row and this row is going to be a repeat of this row that we've just made so you're going to start the row by chaining two and now on this row we are going to make half double crochet in each and every stitch until you complete the row When you get to the end of the row you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to complete the row and at this point you can see it's oops let me zoom in it's almost flattening out and so I'm going to do a final row of half double crochet and at this point 
if you are not using a stretching yarn you can i know your your upper waist is quite wide so you're going to reduce it using an elastic band this elastic band it's a tiny elastic that's going to fit perfectly on your waist but if you don't have an elastic you can go the drawstring way so if you're using an elastic yarn uh, you're going to take this i mean an elastic you're going to take it and put it on this other side and then at this point you're going to use single crochet to attach the elastic band so single crochet on this elastic band so i'm just using this to demonstrate how you are going to attach your elastic band but for me i'm not going to use it because my yarn is stretchy so after that you're going to hold this elastic band and pull it and then repeat the same thing make a couple single crochet like 10 10 single crochets And then you are holding on to this point and just stretching your elastic so repeat this until you complete the row just single crocheting on top of this elastic band and you keep on stretching it yeah so by the time you're done you should be able to get a very nice uh, body gripping and at the same time it's elastic on your waist and then when you're done you're going to tie these two sides of the elastic together and just weave it in but for me i'm not going to use this elastic band and i'm just going to make a plain row of single crochet until I complete the row when you get to the end of the row slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain one and at this point you can cut off your yarn and tighten it off and yeah it's all done so the next thing go ahead and weave in the ends i know this is the least favorite part at least for me and i have so much to weave yeah so let me weave in my ends and then we shall proceed making the bottom part so i have weaved in my ends and at this point i decided to split this tutorial into two parts part one and part two and this is the part one of the tutorial thank you so much for watching if you have any question regarding this kindly feel feel free to comment down below in the comment section let me know what you think about this tutorial so far so the next part which is part two uh, check the description box i'll leave a link down there we're going to make the bottom pants